Hello, my dear students. Today we will study Moonlight Debussy. Make sure you have a note. Take notes, a pencil, and we will start. Uh, the first eight bars are the main theme of the miniature. Um, I want to draw your attention to the lead notes that have been marked at the end of each bars. Lead notes at the end of each bars. Lead notes in the melody. I draw your attention. Each of these notes, each of these notes is painting in two different harmonies. Listen, one harmony, two harmony, two different harmonies. The harmony of the previous tact, previous tact, previous tact, and the harmony of the following tact. That's why all these notes under the league play tenuto. 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 Mm. On the one hand, it is the end of the previous sentence, but on the other, it is the beginning of the next. So these notes cannot be too loud with an accent. Loud, no. No. No, um, but these notes cannot be too quiet, qui quiet either. Too quiet, uh, otherwise the subsequent harmony will drown out the melody. Drown out the melody. Yeah, that would sound primitive. Mm. We have to adjust the accompaniment to melody. Adjust. Adjust accompaniment. That's the first thing I wanted to draw your attention. That's the second thing to look at is a smooth pulsation. Smooth pulsation. Da, da, da. It is possible that this task is more complex than the previous because if you pulsate, you have to be able to hear the third in two harmonies to hear the third but without uh, would be vulgar to play otherwise mm. for example mm, in my opinion it's vulgar at the beginning of calm calm all events or their absence are written in notes nothing to make up it doesn't say uh, uh, rubato or an anime or crescendo doesn't say nothing uh, we just need to describe the code um, there is no rooms for anomalies so uh, there should be no anomalies in our performance no anomalies Calm. Uh, that's why it is a smooth pulsation.
bars uh, 14 bars in the beginning so here is what we need to remember first pay attention to the notes under the leg the third pay attention and second hold the pulse section temporal bottom the first four bars are quiet deep bars uh, are quiet especially signs the hearts we have to play tenuto tenuto bus and keep it in our airs the bus and keep it in our airs and anima the bus the bus and anima um, to eight bars follow the bus um, on bus we use the weight on the hand weight on the hand the bus Keep it in our ears and uh, lead us to E flat. Teach this place to sing bass. Oh. in my opinion in this place remove the pedal on the last two parts each part remove the pedal pedal take off and dissolved in um, upper case Okay, a very important feature on the Debussy's notes is the pedal. He didn't prescribe a pedal like usually do. The pedals on bus. Pedal. Bus 
in two bars. Then the pedal holds two bars. Like this. Two bars pedal. It's very revealing in this place. Okay, in this section we have at least two tasks. First, Movement in the left hand to the E flat and then to F. Let's talk about dynamic. The following partition leads us to the culmination in this miniature. So far we have not gone beyond the sounds of the pianissimo. Here pianissimo and here Crescendo, più crescendo. Piano here. And crescendo. And più crescendo. And um, the next uh, section and animant will be forte. The forte. The forte is the loudest sound here. The only forte in miniature, only forte. This forte is immediately after two bars uh, replaced by pianissimo. Forte. to point out that this is a very quiet nature with a very intimate sound. We are dealing with a thin ephemeral material, substance the moonlight, the light, not the moon itself. So we have to be very careful when we use dynamic. So section un poco mosso. There is still a pianissimo here. Um, you have to take the first minor third with five and four fingers. So that, that when the harmonies change, the third does not disappear in the melody. There are two different harmonies here for one third. We have to hold the third. Piano. Notice this is the first time we have gone beyond to piano. The second holding or the topic is already on piano. Piano. begins to 
suffocate and utterance too much to say suffocate. so an animant culmination and pay attention in the section an animant below piu crescendo piu crescendo <laughs> with the culmination is a little sudden uh, but we have to be ready our intentions should be very clear this is the first time there are jump that are not very convenient it's jump um, the composers wanted a little bit more space here for a culmination prepare the culmination uh, i don't think he wanted to make a fuss here uh, so we learn the race as close as possible. As close as possible. Then no fools, we expand and we hit the culmination for ten. We will have a pianissimo in two bars. Two bars demand and pianissimo. I want to draw your attention. So the culminations is a kind of flash, a moment, and then a rapid return to the original state. Very fast. Calming, swinging on the waves by an arsha. in the beginning is a smooth pulsation to the only accent in miniature. It's only accent in miniature. It's a new color. It's very interesting. It's new color. Thank you. 
probably the last thing I wanted to bring to your attention. I wish you luck and pleasant piano lesson. Goodbye.